Hi, and welcome to Lisa's Home Cooking. Here we are again, and today I'm going to show you how I make my zucchini with spaghetti. Very simple. Again, I know that's the trend in my dishes. Very simple, easy, go-to dishes. So we are going to start off with zucchini. We're going to cut the ends off a little bit, and we are going to peel them. And then we are going to cut them into small cubes. So what I like to do is cut long ways first, then down the center again. And then we just cube them into little one inch cubes. So in this bowl here, we have about eight zucchini. So now we're going to start with extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to say about three tablespoons this time. We're going to put our flame on medium. Then we are going to add some garlic. For about eight zucchini, I am going to add about five cloves of crushed garlic. Okay, five, perfect. We are going to brown our garlic for a couple minutes. Not too much, we do not want burnt garlic. So once we start seeing our garlic brown, we are going to add our zucchini that we have chopped up into cubes. So we're gonna stir this up so the garlic does not burn on the bottom. So the way zucchini and spaghetti came about in my house, you know, every parent out there tries to get their kids to eat some type of vegetable. And my daughter growing up loved pasta. I mean, she's like her mom. Her mom loves pasta. So what I started doing was sauteing different types of vegetables to see what I could add with pasta that she would eat. And I found that she would eat the zucchini the best. So that's how zucchini and pasta came about in my household. In Italian, they call it pasta cocotte. Here, we call it spaghetti with zucchini. So now we're gonna cover this up, let the pot get nice and steamy, and that's gonna release the juices in the zucchini. We'll be ready to go in a couple of minutes. Okay guys, now that this is about halfway cooked and the zucchini is starting to soften, this is when I like to add my salt and my pepper. So I'm gonna say about one teaspoon of each, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of pepper. We're gonna give this another good turn. Now remember, when you add salt to any vegetable, it releases all the water, so it will become a little bit more juicier. We are going to put our pasta in. So let's salt our water. Remember, when you cook pasta, the water should taste like the sea. We are going to drop our pasta, which is, gonna, which is gonna take about eight to 10 minutes to cook, depending on if you like it al dente, or if you like it a little bit softer. Let's drop the pasta in. Give that a little turn. This is another one of my 30 to 40 minute dishes. In and out, quick. We all know that when you have kids, of course, they put those sports right in the middle of dinner time, six o'clock. So you either wanna do something quick before you go or something quick after you get home. Okay, our zucchini should be almost done. You could see on how, after we added the salt, how the juices of the zucchini came out. But this is perfect, because that's gonna be what's gonna bind your pasta and zucchini all together, like a nice sauce. So this is ready to go. Our pasta should be ready to go. Oh yeah. Perfect, al dente. We're gonna shut everything off. We are going to drain our pasta and we are actually gonna put this right inside our zucchini mixture, just like that. We're gonna give this a nice toss. Hmm, this smells delicious. I think I want a dish for myself right now. You could add cheese at the end, you could add the cheese separately when you make your own dish. It all depends on what you like. My daughter loves cheese. I love it without cheese. Some spaghetti with zucchini. Cucuts and pasta. Now who wouldn't want to eat a dish of this at nighttime? I know I would. Mmm. Delicious. And this is how I got my daughter to eat vegetables in my house, making zucchini with pasta. Now, I wanna hear what you guys think of this dish. Make sure you like my video, show your friends, and subscribe to our channel, Cake House. You wanna see more of my videos? Click on the thumbnails next to me. We'll see you next time on Lisa's Home Cooking.